I think it's called the Xfinity X5 or something like that. But let's go ahead and look at it. I, um, I went online, I shop online. Um, the price on this monthly is about, um, it's gonna come close to $100. It's $89 or $80. And then you have to pay $14 to rent those boxes there. I always go ahead and rent the boxes because if you have problems, you can, you can just call them and they will kind of troubleshoot it rather than you go and buy, your, buy one from Best Buy or Amazon. And then when you have products and you call them, they really wouldn't like give you the best um, the best fix around. So I went ahead and get it. I ordered it online and I did it for pickup at the, at the store near me. And I went ahead and this is how it came. So this is basically everything that comes in. This is a box right here. This is a really modern looking box. And this is the fastest one that they have. I will see if I can get the speeds and all that kind of stuff for you and I will put it on there but you can see nice grill on top and the Xfinity logo here I think you can take it out but the Xfinity logo here nice grill on top nice grill at the bottom um, all your ports here you have your reset button um, this is the XB7 um, CM they can see it. it's kind of hard to see but this is the XB7 model you have um, lines for your you have input for telephones it look like for two telephone lines it look like you have four different internet um ports right there so pretty cool that's where you're going to use um ah oh, this is weird weird that they didn't give me no coax cable for this it's supposed to have a coax cable um so i'll have to go ahead and try to find that but this is everything that it comes with um you have all your instruction one two and three you have to download the app on there so we're going to do that so we just went to um, Walmart and we got these. So your coax cable. And I'm hoping that I'm just gonna screw this into a wall right next to me and hope this one work right here. That's the good thing about um, internet from the cable company is that there's, there's outlets all around your room. You can screw this in basically most places. Okay, so we're all plugged in. It's plugged into the wall. There's an indicator light right there that's blinking. So that means it's, it's looking for our app. So you go into the app. Okay, so we're gonna go and activate the gateway. We're gonna start, activate, get started. Um, enter the 12 digit code. So we're gonna go under the device and we're gonna put it in. Tap, click next. And it tells you find your cable outlet, which I already did. We are connected right there. So put it somewhere where it's in the, in the center of the building or, or anywhere where it's not hidden behind a wall or something, in an open space. Connect your coax cable behind your device right here. We have that and we are ready to go. Check connection. And it should start doing its thing. So I have to move the modem to another part of the house and tried somewhere else the one that in the room that I was using wasn't working um, everything is set up right now um, i put in my password i have everything in there and we are basically ready to go and there we go okay got it home so everything is connected um the next thing i have to do is to go go ahead and make sure that I'm connected to all my devices and we'll go from there. So guys, here we go. The box is all plugged into the wall. It's set up and um, so we have the power supply and the coax cable going in here. It's connected right at the back here and you can see the light is blinking. So that means that the internet is on. Everything is connected. Uh, we have four ports here to connect four different devices and we have this sitting right here in the center of the room right there and basically that's it and you can see it really nice i mean i'm gonna find i'm gonna find another place to put it but for now that's where we have it in the open room and i can put back my couch and it can just sit right here in the corner of the couch right there so here we are guys we are connected um this is right now i'm wired in right now so let's open this up and you can see i still have my internet from um at and right here this one here and this one is at and and this is my x5 my xfinity right there the 5g and i also have the 2.4g because a lot of a lot of my um google homes and stuff like that and my amazon echo all these things work on 2g better so i have that there and my cameras and my security cameras 
always work better on 2G, so I have that. So right now I'm connected to the internet through um, an internet cable. So here we go, let's start the test, and you can see how fast this is already. And here we go, and you can see we hit almost 600 megabytes per minute there. 636, 630, 641, uh, 658, 660, it's going up, and there we go. So we have 662 megabytes per minute with that, guys. And when we go down here, let's check the download, the upload speed. And I'm getting close to 40, it's looking like. There we go, 39.4. Four. and you can see back down here it went to cable so now it's on let's see what we on we actually on okay we are we on um the xfinity cable 5g so let's start test and here we go we're almost 400 and we, we I'm, I'm way in a back room um away from the furthest room back and we're on 448 so there's like about two walls between us and there we go and we're gonna do the upload speed and it's heating it's all 38 and there we go 38 point 38 megabytes per minute. So I'm gonna switch the internet now to my AT&T. And to be to be honest about AT&T, I used to have AT&T um, fiber optic cable, and I used to be to it used to be 300 up, 300 down. But then after I move, it it went really slow. So now I'm getting my speed is too slow. So that's why I'm changing right now to Xfinity because Xfinity is faster here where I am right now. Here we go, AT&T, download. I was promised that I would be above 60, close to 100, and I, I have, it's been a few months now and I haven't gotten that speed. This is my download speed and my upload speed is gonna be like 20, 20-ish. 20 So you can see it's a big difference, guys. The price is not the same. The price, I'm paying almost $80, $80 something dollars for the Xfinity. And I'm paying like about, I think, 50 or something like that for AT&T. And definitely gonna, gonna be keeping um, the, the Xfinity um, with the x This is This is super. And no complaints here yet. So there we go. This is Charlie. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later.